I suck your dick for a charger, man. Let me go. We program everything to our phones. You forget your phone, you can't even call your house. And man, call my house, I lost my phone. What's your number? One, motherfucker, my number one, ain't Now this Batman movie, man, this is amazing to me, man. Batman, this, this shit has caused some controversy. Senseless murders at one premiere and then a fight at another one. By the time I watch Batman, that shit'll be on Netflix. Fuck y'all, shit. <laughs> and I don't understand that shit, man, cause we're a nation that is, we love violence. We are amazed when something violent happens. Black people ain't never, made, violence never shocked us. We ain't shocked by, if a spaceship could land here right now, white people be like, oh my God, black people like, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> People always getting shot at work, that's ridiculous. You ever uncertain what to do, watch the black people. We get up and leave, come with us. We can tell when shit ain't right. Look at this crazy motherfucker right here. This, this place about to be on the news. Fuck you, shit. I, I see Batman tomorrow. This some bullshit. Fuck you, bro. White people walk up to the trouble. What are you doing here with that camouflage on? Nobody told me it was cat. We been home watching the news. I was just there. They have killed the supervisor. I'm gonna apply for the job tomorrow. Fuck that shit. White folk always getting killed by animals. That's ridiculous. Black people never get killed by animals. We get killed by drive-bys and the police. The way nature intended. And we died at the hand of the police. I'm curious, sir. Pow, 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 pow. Freeze. The suspect grabbed my gun and shot himself in the back 53 times. Huh? <laughs> Every time you turn around, something going on. Angelina Jolie, uh, she recently admitted that she needed to gain some weight. You know you need to gain weight. One of the third world children you adopted looks at you and goes, No, mommy, you eat. <laughs> we are the world. These kids these days are fucking soft. Leave them in the car in the summer and they die. What type of shit is that? We got left in the car in the summer and we didn't die. Because we had sense enough to get out the fucking car. Besides, we're in the car, we're going to die. Not me, I'm getting out the car. Mama said don't get out. I take the whipping, but I'm getting out the fucking car. This now parents try to baby proof a home, put foam over the corner so the baby don't hit his head, a gate over the stairs so he don't fall. We had to fall down and fuck the stairs. Huh? Oh, you're in the ah! You know now, don't you, motherfucker? A hard head make a soft ass. Everybody in here got a scar from doing some shit they wasn't supposed to be doing. Mama, I'm bleeding. Blood let you know when you fuck up, huh? Just you know who ain't bleeding? The motherfucker took a nap like I told him to. You. You don't bleed if you sleep. That shit don't never happen. Remember when your mother used to smoke in the house? She didn't give a shit about secondhand smoke. Stop all that goddamn coughing. And nobody in my family ever had no asthma. You just sickly. And who was there for semen? That's that little girl you be sneaking over my house. Kids got baby food. We ain't had no fucking baby food. This is shit your mama chewed up and gave you. Remember that? Open your mouth. I don't want this pork chop after you sucked all the juice out of it. This pork chop tastes like Benson and Hedges. Stop all that goddamn coughing. Now when the child is peeing in the bed, the parents are understanding he must have an emotional problem. We're peeing in the bed, our parents would embarrass the fuck out of us. Let me tell you what this little nasty bastard keep doing. Hey, piss pot, come tell your daddy what you did. And you be outside playing, piss pot, come on in the house. We all peed in the bed because we had the pee dream. You know the dream. <laughs> you thought you was at the toilet, but you wasn't. <laughs> you be just getting into it. God damn. I knew this toilet wasn't real. <laughs> now my mattress going to smell like asparagus. <laughs> Some of us had the pee dream when we was adults too, huh? <laughs> Don't act like it's just me. Fuck you all. <laughs> you ain't lived till you peed in yourself as an adult. 
Shit is different, man. Now when a child is teething, <laughs> they get Ambisol or Tylenol. We have seen your mother would actually rub whiskey on your gums. <laughs> Can you feel your teeth? I can't even feel my face. <laughs> and they use whiskey for everything. You got a cold, you got a hot toddy, this much liquor, this much tea. You drift right off, oh my God. <laughs> you sleep so long, by the time you wake up, you ain't handle no cold no more. <laughs> I feel better, but it's Christmas again. I think she does this shit on purpose. Now children, it's amazing what's happening to them, man. They're saying that most of us will be our obese in uh, 10 years, and that's an amazing thing, man. And we were, we were less obese when they called us fat. Like when we was growing up, it was one fat kid per school. And everybody knew exactly who the fuck he is. <laughs> you know, the fat kid in the fifth grade. I never understood a lot of this shit that's going on. The Supreme Court had two big, two big rulings a couple of months ago. One was the Arizona uh, uh, immigration debate where they struck down four of the major tenants except the one that allowed police officers to ask for proof of American citizenship. Who the fuck walks around with proof of American citizenship? Somebody walked in, prove to me you're an American citizen. What the fuck you gonna do? Show them three maxed out credit cards and a foreclosure notice? <laughs> Now, I'm not saying Arizona's racist, but they're the last state in the union to ratify the Martin Luther King holiday. That's silly. I don't give a fuck if you believe in him or not. That's a day off. Fuck you. <laughs> For a Friday off, I celebrate Klan Day. I ain't bullshitting. <laughs> I hate niggas. Me too sometimes. <laughs> and then the Affordable Health Care Act, man. People were shocked that uh, they upheld that, man. It was a very conservative court. Everybody was shocked about it, man. And here's the thing that conservatives don't seem to understand. Most of the rulings they hate, Brown versus Board of Education, Miranda rights, were all presided over by conservative judges who were appointed by conservative uh, uh, presidents, man. And I think at a certain point, when you give somebody a lifetime job when they ain't got the lie no more, they tell you the fucking truth. <laughs> they go, you motherfuckers is crazy. I ain't voting for this shit. Clarence Thomas, I never even know this. Clarence Thomas was a Supreme Court Justice. He's never even asked a question or written an opinion. You wouldn't even know he was a Supreme Court Justice if he wasn't in the fucking picture. <laughs> People are like, who was the black guy? I, I don't know, I think he works in the snack shop. <laughs> Every time they want to talk bad about the president, they bring up the founding fathers. The founding fathers would be angry if they found out what America had become. The founding fathers would be a little more mad if they found out we got a black president. Like, who is the mulatto? I don't know, I think that's one of Thomas Jefferson's boys. That TJ always did love the colors. I was on a plane one time, right after 9-11, they kicked the dude from the Middle East right off the plane. I thought, man, I'm a black man, that's racial profiling. But I sure hit the button on his ass, bling. Somebody better get back there and check out Muhammad. Fuck that shit, he was, he was crying and praying and that can't be good, fuck you. Sometimes it ain't racial profiling. Sometimes it's damn fine police work. <laughs> Good job, officer. I was suspicious my goddamn self, huh? I don't trust a motherfucker wear clothes you can't find at the mall. <laughs> they don't sell that shit at the Gap. Somebody's a terrorist. In April, I had a gig in Qatar, man, so I flew on an Arabic Airlines. I don't know if you've ever woke up and heard the pilot speak in Arabic, but that shit is fucking horrifying. I woke up to this shit. <laughs> I freaked out. Oh my God, they got the plane. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> if you see something, say something. <laughs> so we landed at the airport, and I go to the bathroom, man, and they don't got shit I recognize. All they got is a hole and a water hose next to it. And I'm like, so you're supposed to take a dump and then use the water to wash your ass. <laughs> and they don't tell you that that water is hot as fuck. I'm like, I'm trying to wash my ass, not make tea. What type of shit is this? <laughs> they have the second highest standard in living in the entire world. Every Qatari makes $200,000 and uh, a couple of, uh, 350 Qataris, 350,000 Qataris. And the king heard that the people were upset that their mortgages were so high. He paid off everybody fucking mortgage. So they ain't got no mortgage, gas, 32 cents a gallon. Men live like kings. They can have all the women they want as long as they keep them in the same standard of living. And women have no fucking rights. If a woman say something there, she get beheaded or hung. <laughs> so you know ain't no black women over there. You motherfuckers. <laughs> You motherfucker be hanging from the trees like Christmas ornaments. 
I told you to shut up, didn't I see? These people ain't for this shit. <laughs> Apparently the word nigga is still controversial. <laughs> Dr. Laura said nigga 11 times on a radio show last year she was forced to resign. What cracked me up was how indignant people, I can't believe that she said nigga 11 times. <laughs> like the first two or three niggas was okay. <laughs> and then she went over to nigga limit. <laughs> and she didn't have nigga roll over minutes. <laughs> Mel Gibson told his ex-wife you're dressed like a whore and I hope you get raped by a pack of niggas. <laughs> never seen a pack of niggas. <laughs> I've seen a lot of niggas. <laughs> a pack of niggas? What are we, cigarettes? <laughs> Give me $20 on pump one, please. Oh, and a pack of them niggas right there. They... <laughs> the word nigga is so controversial, they decided they would take it out of all Mark Twain's books. Mark Twain said nigga 219 times in the classic Huckleberry Finn, said it four times in Tom Sawyer. They decided they would replace the word nigga with slave. <laughs> Let me tell you something, white people, they ain't an upgrade. That's all the fuck I know. I don't know about you, but I'd rather be a nigga than a slave. You call me nigga, I could be offended, but I could still drive home to my house. You call me slave, I gotta go with you, ain't that a bitch? Come here, slave. Nah, I'm a nigga, he's a slave. I'm going home. This is bullshit. I know nigga's a horrible word, and I should stop saying it, but I know so many. That's all the fuck I'm saying. I, I stop saying it. When I stop saying them, fuck y'all. Look at all the white people. Exactly. <laughs> this nigger's on to something. <laughs> Unemployment rate in America, 8.3%. Remember you just talk shit at your job because you just knew you could get another one? Remember that? You'd be in the Berkman, fuck this job. I can get another job. They can kiss my ass. Not no more, huh? You, you take a lot of shit at work now, don't you? The manager just called you a nigger. Well, did he put laid off in front of it? Because... Cause a laid off nigga much worse than a regular nigga. <laughs> Economy so bad, people can't even afford to break up. There's women here sitting next to men, they can't fucking stand. Who if he didn't have medical benefits, I swear to God. So, <laughs> soon as they take these braces off my teeth, I'm leaving this son of a bitch, fuck him. And the unemployment rate in America will remain high because we have not invested in education. We spent more money on bombs than we ever did on books. So we can blow the world up. We just can't read the instructions. <laughs> Push the button. How you spell button? <laughs> like, look at the jobs we used to have we don't even do no more. Like, you guys are doctors. Like, you can be a regular internist, but you go to a specialist. A lot of them have names like, like you ain't even heard of before. <laughs> like, 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 I don't know about y'all, but like, I go to a regular doctor's. That's okay. But you go to a, in, you go to a specialist, his office smell like curry. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit right here? <laughs> You ever go to a doctor, man, and you can't, his name's so long, you can't even tell if that's his last name or the shit you got. <laughs> Is that my last name, your last name or my diagnosis? <laughs> I took a taxi to my doctor's office. He walked out, I'm like, motherfucker, didn't you drop me off here? My wife called me, what did the doctor say? Pong for tong, phone, phone. I don't know what the fuck you just said. <laughs> I've been married for a long time. You can tell when a man been married for a long time. Get on for work, don't even get out the car right away, do you? Just sit in the driveway, get ready for the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Kids see him and run in the house. You know, daddy just sitting in the car. Because women are crazy. You ever had a woman have a dream about some shit you did? And they mad all day about a fucking dream. You wake up, they looking dead in your face. Just the motherfucker I wanted to see. Who the fuck is Sheila? Who the fuck is Sheila? I'm going back to sleep, find out the bitch's address. When a woman's in a new relationship, all her underwear match. As soon as you get comfortable, she'll come to bed with any goddamn thing on. A red, bra, and green drawers. <laughs> the fuck are you, an Avenger? <laughs> Have some pride. Try to be sexy. Hey, did you want to do something? <laughs> nah, Thor, I'm good. I'm gonna lay down. <laughs> they had some crazy. How come you don't like to take a shower with me? Because I hate to be at the back of the fucking shower, freezing to death. That's why. 
you block all the fucking hot water and get out and flush the toilet and burn the shit out of me. And I know you do this shit on purpose. No, I've been married a long time. I love my wife a lot. I was telling my girlfriend, I said, you know what? get caught. That's fucked up. My wife got so mad at me, I thought she was going to cut my throat last year. And that would have been fucked up because if she had cut my throat and I'd have lived, I had to go to court and testify for her. <laughs> like, Don't send her to jail, your honor. She... <laughs> She's a wonderful woman. <laughs> Women are fucking amazing to me, man. <laughs> Well, they they do some shit that like I never understood <laughs> like like <laughs> like uh, when I first got married uh, she wear this cute little edible underwear but her ass was a little smaller so I could eat three four pet. <laughs> Twenty five years later that shit is rough. <laughs> so you're not gonna finish? I'm full now. Shit, I, I need a nap and a doggy bag. <laughs> Why don't you wrap it up? I take it to work with me tomorrow. <laughs> you want some Jose? It's too much. Women are hard to get along with. Women are so hard to get along with, God never got married. He said, I make up for y'all, but one of them will never live up here. I bet you that shit. God was a single parent, and he had custody. <laughs> Jesus, don't you tell your mama where I live, you understand? You know you love a person when you stay with them through menopause. That's the worst shit. I'm hot! Cause you the devil, that's why you fucking high. You need it. Ain't nobody hot but you, why don't you lay down? Oh. I came on one time, she had adoption papers on the table. I'm like, what are you doing? I was thinking about adopting some kids. Well, let me know how it work out with you and your new man, cause I'm not. I wouldn't even treat adopted kids right. I come home with my real kids, y'all come with me. The rest of you motherfuckers paint the house. The world is getting more and more different, man. Shit is getting more and more fucking difficult, man. You go all over the world, man. Things are fucking different. Like, I, I travel a lot, man. And I was over in Europe. Like, I was watching uh, the Olympics, like I said yesterday. And in the United States, about like 526 fucking athletes. I'm like, who the fuck did we bring? Congress? <laughs> It's an amazing thing, and I, 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 like most Americans, I only like sports we can win. That's why I don't fucking like soccer. We always get our ass whipped in soccer. We got whipped by Ghana, and them motherfuckers didn't even have shoes on. <laughs> I don't like the Winter Olympics. We ain't good at that. We, we good at stuff you learn how to do free at the park. <laughs> if you can learn it free at the park, we're going to win a gold medal in it. That's all the fuck I'm saying. And shit is different, man. I, I look all over, man, and I see the, the way the world of stuff is going, man. Like uh, Mitt Romney was over in England uh, this week, and they found him to be boring and arrogant. You know that you're boring when the motherfuckers are inventing boring. <laughs> Call you fucking boring. <laughs> when Jeff Lee, the butler from Fresh Prince, think you boring, <laughs> you fucking boring. And it's always very religious. Like I don't, I don't, I don't really go to church because that cover charge high in the motherfucker. But <laughs> and even the institutions we used to count on, we can't even count no more. Like when we was growing up, they said if you want to be a positive member of society, go to church, you play sports, you can go to school. Now between Penn State, Syracuse, and Bishop Eddie Long, I'm gonna take my chances on the streets. Fuck you. At least when a dope dealer tried to fuck you, he was just out some money. There's a ball boy from Syracuse. He said he was molested from the time he was 13 to the time he was 28. Now, I ain't no fucking mathematician, but if the coach still fucking you at 28, you got a boyfriend. That's all the fuck I'm saying. You motherfuckers go together. That's a fucking relationship. 15 years, at some point, you could have went, Coach, no! It's true, man. People don't tell them shit they're supposed to. Like, I grew up next to a pedophile my whole life. My father said, don't you ever let me catch you at his house. Little boys leave the house crying and with candy in their head. <laughs> you want some candy? Nah, motherfucker, not that bad, shit. If candy make you cry, you can keep it, shit. 
Cause booty for Skittles ain't a deal for me. Should you? Some shit you supposed to tell. These young cats got dumb expressions. Snitches get stitches. That's true, but they also get immunity for prosecution too, shit. If you ever do something around me and I ain't in your ass is told on, you better start calling me my new name. What is that? Witness, goddammit. That's my... <laughs> <laughs>